Yo, you get your worms back? Got them. <laughs> Got them back. I'm going down. Hopefully cracking 20. There you go. Yes. Let's do this. All right, guys. Day two of the uh, FLW Coast here on Lake Champlain. We're going to try to uh, figure some more things out today. At least that's the plan. Um, had a pretty terrible day yesterday, uh, but I did find some stuff towards the end of the day that has me pretty excited. So I'm going to hope that those fish are there. I'm going to be going to some deep fish, uh, drop shotting. And uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. And hopefully we can uh, get a good bag and salvage this event. I don't think a top 10's there. Uh, unless I have a really good bag or, you know, at least we'll uh, hopefully get paid today. We lick our wounds and call it a day and move on. So let's get out there, see what happens. Go time, we're leaving shortly. Wind's picking up, not a good thing. Kind of wanted it to be calm. A little bit more here in the morning, at least for a little while, but that's not gonna happen. Uh, it's gonna be very interesting, but uh, I'm looking forward to the challenge. So as you can see, we had some pretty brutal conditions in the morning. The wind really kicked up and I could not stay on my fish where I was the day before. And so I had to make some adjustments and I just stuck at it. They were far and few between and it was miserable conditions out there. This video doesn't do justice. Well, guess what? I lost all audio. I think my mic just got soaked. So we're going to look at some highlights. I wish you could hear my reaction to some of these fish. I was pretty excited. But I did lose quite a few out here as well, which I think might hurt me. Extremely difficult controlling the boat. So just fishing deep out in the extreme conditions. Most of these fish came off of a Gajo Spirit Shad. That was my drop shot bait of choice. And I uh, was just kind of working a nice little pot of fish. There wasn't a whole lot of them. There's enough to make some things interesting. So I really thought this was the one. This was that five pounder. Turns out it was a pike. Of course, why wouldn't it be? So I made some crucial fish catches towards the end of the day. I was able to uh, call out some of the smaller fish, working my way up. I really didn't want to leave, but it was so windy. And I really thought it was going to take me a good solid hour, hour and a half. Once I got out of this area and got out in the main, main lake, I just thought it'd be brutal. And I just needed, like they were, I left them biting. I should have stayed. I got in actually an hour early. And poked around by the ramp this was a key fish here i was totally jacked i needed one more big one to have a really good bag because i i had a two pounder sitting in there and uh just ran out of time all right guys we're gonna weigh grab our fish some decent ones today wish we had five ones my little guy could not get rid of it. Back 
obviously, uh, hopefully we'll have some good footage of my missed opportunities. I lost four key fish today. I got a little two pounder in there. I'm gonna just maybe squeeze into the check line. All right, weigh-in's done, 1515, a little bit better today. Uh, that got me paid, yes! So I won, I don't know what I won, but I know I lost two grand in expenses. You do the math. Check out my video on is it worth it? Because it isn't. But it's fun when you make a top 10 cut. So I fished terrible. Lost fish, 38th place out of I don't know, 180, 200. So on to the next one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave any likes and comments below. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.